here's a wee story for you. The only Finnish scientist to ever get a Nobel Prize for Science was R.E. Virtanen. And he was a pioneer in nitrogen fixation. He studied uh, the symbiosis between uh, red clover and rhizobium. After the war, yeah, in Finland, Finland it's a strange history with the war. First of all, they fought with the Germans against the Russians because they wanted Greater Finland stretching from Helsinki to Vladivostok. And then uh, 1945, the Russians said, we won't invade you if you drive the Germans out through Norway. So then they fought against the Germans. But that's beside the point. <laughs> There's an interesting fact in there. That, uh, yes, after the war, Finland was in a rather sort of poor condition. And the government wanted to increase milk production. And the usual way to do it is to feed the cows hay and things like that. But uh, Finland didn't have enough money to do that. And R.E. Virtanen knew that uh, clover is, uh, it is very high in protein. And if you feed the clover to the cows, they'll get protein and then the milk production will increase. So they didn't have to rely on uh, on fertilizers that came from industry because uh, the way that you make ammonia industrially is by breaking the three bonds the three bonds of the nitrogen you split those three bonds open then you put a hydrogen on each of them and then that's how you get ammonia but that requires about a thousand atmospheres of pressure and about 350 to 500 degrees centigrade just to break that triple bond. But in nature, uh, rhizobium form root nodules on legumes like peas and beans. And they are able to break that triple bond, put hydrogen on it, produce a nitrogen the plant can use, and they do it at normal temperature and normal pressure. Isn't that clever? I was just digging up my pea plants here and uh, just looking to see if there were any nodules on the roots and uh, I'll show you them now so you can see these little bumps here all over the roots and inside these nodules are the rhizobium uh, which uh, fix the nitrogen and give it to the, to the plant so it's a symbiosis the plant gives uh, carbohydrates or it does photosynthesis and sends sugars and stuff down to the root nodules and the rhizobium then fix nitrogen through these root nodules and uh, give it to the plant so you never need to you shouldn't need to fertilize your peas or beans with nitrogen if the soil is in good condition and it's able to form uh, nodules. But the other thing about it is that uh, inside the nodules is something called leg hemoglobin. Just as uh, we have hemoglobin in our bodies, there's a plant called legume hemoglobin which is inside these little nodules. And usually if you split them open it's a sort of a reddish colour and those are effective nodules but if the, effect, if the nodules are white inside then it can be uh, that an ineffective strain of rhizobium has uh, infected your roots so I just thought that uh, I would share that with you but uh, check 
your pea plants and bean plants and see if there's any nodules forming on the plants. that'll tell you the condition of your soil whether it's good or not.